Welcome back to another episode of VTTV. Today we have another docking station unboxing video for you. Um, today we have the Lenovo ThinkPad Thunderbolt 4 workstation dock. And this dock is specific to the Lenovo P1 laptop. Um, this laptop does have some different power requirements than your normal laptop. It does have a Quadro video card in it, so it does eat a bit more power, so hence the little bit of a more high horsepower dock, if you would. So let's uh, kind of get into this and show you what we have in the box here. So we got our manuals here. Hey, uh, this is the connection cable from the dock to the computer itself. Some warranty info. Go ahead and pull this dock out. That's that there. And then underneath, we have the ginormous 300 watt power adapter. This thing's an absolute monster. And then it's equally as thick and beefy power cord. Go ahead and set this box to this side. And first off, we'll go ahead and pull this out for you. Big 300 watt power supply for the docking station itself. It does have a standard Lenovo rectangular power plug here. So go ahead and plug this up to our power strip. Get this plugged into our docking station. You'll notice that this uses a standard PC power cord. So if you already have one of these, like this is a run through a desk or whatever have you, you can use your existing cord with no issues. Next off, go ahead and unwrap our docking station here. So the docking station is pretty much the same as the last one that we showed you. It does have a USB uh, 3.1 USB-C port here, as well as a USB-A 3.1 10 gig port, a headset port. You have your standard lock port on the side. This side you have nothing. You have your power button at the top, which uh, lights up white when it's plugged into the laptop or amber and standby. On the back of the docking station, you do have the power port for the 300 watt power adapter to plug into. You have the special dock connector, which plugs into the laptop. It has additional power plus the USB-C port for data. You have a um, USB-C Thunderbolt port here for a host connection, as well as display port, HDMI, and another display port up top here. If I remember correctly, this docking station will do three separate monitors all at the same time. So that is one thing to keep keep note of. Um, this is the, if you want three external monitors with the laptop, this is the one that you need to go for. And um, then you have two more USB 3.1 10 gig ports. The bottom one supports power to off charging, gigabit ethernet port, and then finally one more USB 3.1. All right, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to get this all connected. Oh, another uh, thing I didn't notice before is actually this has mounting points to mount this to the bottom of your desk, or to a wall. Um, so this is a nice touch. The previous docking stations I've uh, seen through Lenovo actually didn't have this feature, so that is a nice touch. We'll get our cable that connects our docking station to our laptop. So this cable here, one side is solid, and this side here breaks apart. With that, the solid side, let's get this unraveled here, solid side is the one that plugs into the back of your docking station just like so. And this side breaks apart because you technically could use this 
with just the USB-C part to charge and power your laptop as well as passing data without this additional power um, plug there if the uh, laptop doesn't require it. Go ahead and plug our power cord back here. And then we'll go ahead. For this demonstration, we do have two monitors. They're both display port. Go ahead and plug them up. One down here, and the other guy right here. Unfortunately, I didn't have a third monitor to demonstrate this with, but we'll see if we can make this work. And then the plug on the side here will plug into your laptop directly. You just grab the laptop. And here is our Lenovo P1. So the cord is positioned just like this, matches your connections right there. And that just plugs right into your laptop like so. And once the laptop is connected to the docking station, um, if you didn't see that just now, this did just blink white real quick. But uh, if we go ahead and power it on, we'll go ahead and uh, get a nice white uh, light there showing that the docking station and the laptop are talking to each other correctly. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, this is pretty much all I have for you with this docking station. Everything should be straightforward with monitor positioning, getting your keyboard and mouse connected, as in our previous videos. If you do have any further questions, please feel free to comment as well as uh, throw a like on our video if this helped you out with uh, getting your new docking station all going.